Okay, uh, he, let's see if you can explain this to me. Maybe, maybe I'm just like being stupid here. Um, Sony, there's there's a kind of a idea here that Sony's bringing out a new Sony Alpha Seven Number Two, um, which is going to have a five-axis sensor shift image stabilization. And to me, I was just like going, how does that work? How do you get five-axis stabilization? So let me explain to you. If in the form of a GoPro, uh, an axis up and down, left and right. That's your two normal axis, axes. Ax axes. Um, so if I'm holding this and if my hands are slightly shaking, they're usually shaking maybe a little bit up and down, maybe a little bit left and right. And if you have a two axis, then the sensor can move around in effectively a circle. It can go up and down, left and right, jiggle, 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 jiggle. No problem, absolutely fine. So two axis, I can understand. A third axis may be bringing in rotation. Wait, um, oh, you've got to figure out which one's rotation, which one's tilt, and which one's pitch. Okay, uh, I'm thinking roll. Okay, rotation. So if I'm holding this here, and if I'm shaking, if my fingers move just maybe a little bit to the left, to the right, maybe the sensor is able to rotate uh, fractionally uh, by like one degree, two degrees at the most, uh, just to keep that stabilization uh, going. So up, down, left, right, and a little bit of roll. Okay, that's that's fine. And then, but the next one, or the next two, so three axes of stabilization, I get. I've got that as well. The next two, I don't get. It's uh, yaw, left and right, and pitch, up and down. So pitching up and down. First of all, that's not really something that happens. You don't really have a hand that moves up and down, it's usually just an up and down motion, but pitching up and down would be moving the sensor plane at an angle, which would surely just screw up the image. Because instead of the image coming like straight into a flat sensor at the back, it would be coming in at an angle, so you'd always get like a, a tilt shift lens kind of look. So if you have that going up and down, but if you also have it going left and right, so if I suddenly go down at a corner like that, half the image would be totally blurred out or something like that. I don't quite understand. I'm sure it'd be tiny amounts, like a one degree at most going on there. But uh, three axis of stabilization, I totally understand. Bring it in yaw and pitch into the sensor. I do not understand how that will help, or how that's really possible. Uh, again, I can totally understand this on a, like a steady cam. You have a steady cam system. As you move around, it keeps the camera centered. But if it's the sensor, which is connected to a lens, which is fixed, I don't understand how that works. Uh, I'll be very, very, very interested to see how this works and how much more beneficial or negative it is compared to a normal three axis of stabilization. Have you ever experienced this in a camera before? Um, let me know. Cheers. Bye-bye.